Um, so we we're talking about burdock. This is a so here are uh, here are the spent seed pods. Um, <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah. Is there anybody that has a dog with long hair? Probably. Yeah. Or so. cat. Um, or cat. Or a horse that's um, in the tails. <laughs> Yeah, and this this is a big fan of disturbed sites, um, things like that. Here's the leaf. It's so early in the year that these leaves are very unimpressive. Um, sometimes they look tropical. The leaves get so big. Um, they're beautiful leaves, and they're kind of fuzzy, um, kind of cool. But uh, burdocks used to treat huge amount of things. It's kind of what I was mentioning a panacea. Um, for a long time, it was considered a cure all. You know. Um, <coughs> snake bites, things like that. You could slap burdock on it. Uh, the root is mainly, it's got this big tap root, huge. I mean, you really have to work if you're going to harvest burdock. It's, it's very deep, it's very thick, um, and often if you're indelicate, you can snap it off and you've just got, you know, you've got a root in the ground and a handful of leaves. Um, and a bunch more coming next year. Right. So it's, uh, it's it, but it is really handy. I mean, you can use it for um, you can use it as a poultice, you can use it uh, for skin skin problems. Um, I've heard that it settles the stomach also, I've never never tried that. But what I do know is that it does uh, stimulate bile production um, for digestion. So it gets your, sort of your digestive juices flowing. Um, so if you take, if you take prepared burdock, like in a tincture or a tea or something, it can actually, it'll stimulate bile production um, to help with digestive issues. Um, indigestion, things like that. Here's some more burdock. I always like to let the skin touch this because it kind of grips to your fingerprints. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's kind of nice. That's where they come up with the idea for yeah, Velcro. Yeah, this is where the hook and loop fabric came from for Velcro. Uh, these have little tiny micro hooks on the end. But, um, pretty effective. I've heard that two guys came up with Velcro at the same time on separate ends of the world. The one one guy was here, one guy was in Europe, came up never related, but about the same time, and I think our guy beat him to it, but uh, like, got the patent for it.